I can't limit it to one, but so what I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to give three and these aren't mine. These came from my father in law. You can see behind me. There's a poster for a movie made in the 30s called Sun Valley Serenade. And my father in law was a screenwriter since the 30s. He did me movies. He did like this. He was Cecil B. DeMille's assistant on the Ten Commandments. He was head writer of Sea Hunt, created Flipper and a whole lot of stuff. And he used to say there are three secrets to success as a screenwriter. The first secret is don't get it right, get it written. In other words, don't try and make it perfect as you're writing it down. Just get it on the page. You can go back and re edit and re edit and re edit, but it's that blank page that is death to a writer that just overwhelms you. So get something down. Any experienced writer I know says the first draft is always horrific, but you got to get there. So now you have something to work with. So that's the first one. Don't get it right, get it written. The second piece of advice is the seat of the pants to the seat of the chair. In other words, writers write. And you can get all caught up in worrying about protecting your work. How much money is this going to be? How many rewrites? A lot of the things that we've even been talking about. But writers write. That means every day you're sitting down, plunking your ass in front of that computer or sitting with that notepad or talking into that tape recorder, however you do it, and you're getting words on the paper or you're, you're creating your story. You're, you have a regimen. You do it every day when you wake up. You do it every lunch hour. You do it before you go to bed, whatever it is. But writers write. And your reward has to be from that. The other stuff is gravy. You can, if you are miserable as you write and you hope you're going to love all that money you're going to make by selling that script, it's the wrong reason to be a screenwriter. So number two, seat of the pants to the seat of the chair. And the third is you've got to reject rejection. And this is true for anybody coming to Hollywood. It's you cannot take the rejection personally. There will be pitches that people don't respond to that you never get called back on, that they aren't interested in your script. They'll send your script back. You won't hear from them. You can't take any of that personally. First of all, the reason a lot of scripts get rejected is not because they're bad. It's because they don't meet the needs of the person you sent it to. It's a science fiction movie and they don't have the budget for that or they're already making a science fiction movie. They're looking for a romantic comedy and you are not your writing. I know it feels like it because you're burying your soul, but there's a difference between who you are and the things you write. And as long as you get your fulfillment by exercising your passion in your writing and keep dogging after it and reject the rejection, sooner or later you are going to succeed. And you've just got to hang on to that and stay with that. And that's going to keep you going until all those other rewards come. Mm -hmm.